Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at this uh, picture here and see what we can do about it, in particular about this land area here. It's kind of a bit dull. So what we're going to do first of all is going to select it. So we're going to go to our selection brush here, make sure that Snap to Edges is on. And then just paint over this and it snaps to edges. And see how we got you and just push it into the little corners here. There we go, all those little bits. Yeah, that's probably as far as that's going to go. So now we're going to go to refine. And bring this up here so we can see it. And we just need to brush around the areas that need a little bit of attention. Here, so left and right square bracket to size the brush. And I'm going to paint up here, up that one there. Just the areas that kind of need a little bit more thinking, please. That's it. A little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and a little bit of something else. And there's bits over there. Let's see if we can do these boats here as well, just to... Because what we're going to do is going to be brightening up the land, and these little boats might be nice to brighten up as well. And there's a bit down there, it kind of needs to rethink. OK, that'll do. And apply. So now we've not got this. So we're going to do some work on this, but a little an extra tip here is you can see that around the edge of this here, you've got all the marching out showing you where it is, but you kind of know it's the land. And it can be a bit of a nuisance, particularly when you want to see the effect of what you're doing. So a little tip for this is to go up to View and go down to where it says Show Pixel Selection, it's to turn that off. And now you don't see it. A strong extra tip is turn it back on again afterwards, because it's amazingly confusing if you're trying to select something and you, a previous time you turned it off and you've forgotten about it. And it's not selecting. It is. It's just not showing you the edge. So turn that back on again afterwards. So now what are we going to do to this? Because we've got this selected, we can actually now look at things like the histogram. Remember that one? And look at the lights and darks in here. And if I click on the marquee there, it shows me just for the this particular area that is selected, the marquee of those marching ants. And what it's showing me is there's a big area up here. Look, there's nothing here. That means there's no lighter areas in it, which means it's kind of a bit dull and still the dark areas as well. So a way to fix this is to go up to levels here and just bring in the left and right so it touches. So I bring in the black there so it touches the edge of the histogram there and bring in the right so it touches the edge of that and this is already improving the color of this a lot it's bringing up the lights and so on i can also go to the gamma here and play with that to see if that improves it see look at what the effect it has there we go it's sort of this plays with middle tones and things but just play with it and see what happens so that's actually made that a lot lighter which is nice and I keep that and say merge so this is already looking much better maybe you could do with a bit more saturation so I go to the vibrance here and I can play with either of these so I turn up the vibrance that has a little bit of effect I think this one needs a bit more so I can try the saturation turn that up yeah that's looking better isn't it there we go one of the things to watch for this as well is whilst you might be looking over here and saying, let's improve this, this mother area is you don't want to bring up too much because that's going to kind of end up dominating if it's too bright. And in this fixing as well, this ship now is a lot lighter as well, isn't it? It looks a lot better. So I'm going to say merge for that to keep that. And now if I wanted to print it or save it, I click on here. I can go down to save here to save it back to the file it came from to export it is the way I use almost all the time, always save to a different file. So you can always go back and re-edit if you want to. So anyway, there it is. There's our fixed picture with a little bit of selection and so on. And remember that last point, 
view and show pixel selection again always leave that turned on so now we can either go to select and deselect here or another extra tip these along here are for selection so the middle one there says deselect you can click on that as well there you go and thank you very much for watching